listen, this YouTube thing, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just taking it one video at a time. I'm just trying to have fun with it. I like it. I enjoy it. And if it don't become fun anymore, I'm just not going to do it anymore. So, hey, you guys are along for the ride, you know? I appreciate it. Let's go. Hello, hello, lovely people. Welcome to my virtual couch. Happy Friday to you. Okay, I know I can't sing. Y'all will be all right. <laughs> so in my last video, I talked about what makes a good and bad therapist. So I have now wrapped up the therapy overview series. And now I'm going to go into discussing about mental health conditions. In my next video, I'm actually going to be interviewing a chemical dependency counselor. So um, if you have any questions about addictions, send them my way. So I'm going to do a QA and a and I ask people to send in their questions and I got a few questions. So we're going to get right into it. Okay. So yes, I'm using my son's iPad. Don't judge me. Okay, so first question, describe your personality in three words. Hmm. My personality in three words. So I would say ambitious. I'm an ambitious person. I would say outgoing, like I'm an extrovert. I love people. I love talking to people. And the third one, see, I don't want it to be all like, oh, I'm perfect because I'm certainly not. Um, I would say a third personality is, well, my husband will say prideful, <laughs> prideful slash stubborn. I would say I have stubborn tendencies. So yeah. So I'll say outgoing slash extrovert, ambitious and stub stubborn tendencies. Is that a personality trait? And planner. I'm a planner. Wait, she asked for three. Okay. Let's do three. Okay, second question. What is your zodiac sign? I am a Libra, but I am on the Virgo cusp. So I think that's where the, the planner side of me comes in because I am the girl that on in August, I will text my girlfriends and say, what are we doing for New Year's Eve? <laughs> So that's the Virgo side. The Virgo side is very orderly, planner, structured, all that stuff. The Libra side, I love love. I love relationships, friendships. Like my friends are everything. I am a girl's girl. I didn't always used to be a girl's girl, but I, I'm, I'm definitely, I say high school, I wasn't a girl's girl, but for sure um, now I'm, I'm totally, I'm a total girl's girl. If my like, girlfriend say, let's do brunch, like I, I'm all for it. I'm excited. Okay. How do you feel about plastic surgery? That's a random question, but do your thing, do your thing, girl, do your thing, girl. Like, look, I don't judge you if you have plastic surgery. The only thing that I will say is that sometimes I feel like you can get discounts on shoes, on nails, on clothes, right? But when it comes to your body, I don't believe in taking shortcuts because people die from this stuff. So I don't believe in like, Oh, if every doctor is charging 20,000 for something, and then you see the doctor that's charging like 7,000, that should be a red flag. And maybe I'll, I'll do a, vid a separate video about that later, but you want to do plastic surgery, do it. I just don't like when people go overboard. So that's how I feel about plastic surgery. Okay. Next question. If you had a spirit animal, what would it be? Oh, I love this question. I absolutely love horses. Like my maternity shoot, one of my maternity shoot was on top of a horse. One day I'm going to take horse, horse, le horse back riding lessons. My husband thought it was crazy, but we did it. It was safe. Um, I, I, I felt the horse's spirit. Like I feel like horses are loyal. They are, you know, gentle, kind, you know, like they feel energy, you know, like right before I got on top of the horse for the maternity shoot. And it wasn't the original horse that I had planned on riding on, but it was something about the horse. I felt him, like I just felt his energy. And I'm like, 
you are for me and I am for you. <laughs> so my spirit animal will be horses. Like horses like to roam, they're free. I, they, yeah, that's my spirit animal for sure. Okay, next question. Why the YouTube name my therapist Pam says? So originally I wanted to use the name my therapist says, but then that was taken. So we decided, well, my sister, my sister and I, so my sister, uh, hey, Cody, she is my uh, brand manager. She's like the boss of me when it comes to this YouTube thing. So she, we decided to use my therapist, Pam says, but also because my clients always will say, well, my, I told my friends, my therapist, Pam said, and yes, yeah, so I was talking to my friend and I told him my therapist, Pam says, and I used to be like, your friends must be sick of me. That's why the name my therapist, uh, Pam says. So, yeah. Okay, next question. Are you Nigerian? I am Nigerian by marriage. So I am I am from Ghana. Um, I was born in the US. So I like to say um, US by birth, Ghana by blood, and Niger by marriage. So my husband is Nigerian, Igbo to be exact. I was born in the US and I was raised in Ghana from ages two to nine. Next so question. Did you play any instruments? Yes, I played the flute. I was no Lizzo, okay, but occasionally I was first chair. Most often I would be uh, a second or third chair. I mean, I, I don't know how to play it like well now. Like if you handed me a flu, I might know certain songs and certain notes, but you know, if you're not practicing it, you know, it unfortunately goes away. But yeah, I used to play the flu. I used to play the flu in, uh, was it high school or middle school? I think middle school, middle school. And then like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Middle school and high school. I was in the marching band. Yeah. I was in the marching band. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I was in the marching band for like the first two years and then I did dance. Yeah. What is your favorite country? Oh, okay. 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 So I'm putting home country aside. I'm putting Ghana aside. So in addition to Ghana, I'm, I'm going between, ooh, that's a good question. Okay, I'm going between Greece and Bora Bora. Greece, I went for a study abroad and uh, I was homesick for like the first two weeks, but then, you know, I got over it because it was the first time I was away from home like for a very long time. So Greece, and I felt so safe in Greece. There was an old Greek town called Napoleon, and I would wander around like three or four in the morning with these stray dogs. And I felt, I felt safer there than I felt here, honestly. Like that was such a, a peaceful, tranquil time for me. Um, and that's when I encountered my first, um, uh, when I first saw gypsies, I don't know if that's like upper term, if it isn't, excuse me, but so when we took a ferry to Santorini and that's when I first, um, knew about gypsies and their lives and things like that. Bora Bora is my favorite because we, cause that was our honeymoon and it was nice and peaceful and fun and romantic. And you wake up and you overlook the water and um, we had a guy on the boat bring us breakfast. I mean, it was everything. Now the flight there, that's a different story. The flight there, I mean, it was, ugh, it was a lot, but once we got there, it was great. It, we went to Tahiti, spent some time with the locals. We did a lot of stuff overlooking the mountains. We did, um, ATV riding. I'll say Bora Bora. Bora Bora is my favorite country. What are you afraid of? Ooh, what are you afraid of? I'm afraid of rats, <laughs> roaches, snakes. <laughs> I'm afraid of that. I, I, you know, I don't, I don't subscribe to the, the notion of being afraid of failure. I celebrate failure because I never want to live with regret. Like I'm going to try something. If it doesn't succeed, then, Hey, at least I tried. Um, I feel like sometimes people let the fear of failure hinder them. I look at fear as false evidence appearing real. So to me, I'd rather try something and fail 
And if I fail, I'm like, okay, cool. I know I'm not going to try that again. We wouldn't have all these apps and stuff. Like they didn't get it together the first try. Like if you think about Silicon Valley, all these apps and technology, they had to fail a few times to get it to, you know, what it is now. So I just feel like you can't let fear just stop you. Look, this YouTube thing, I, I don't know what I'm doing. If it don't work out, then it doesn't work out. Like it's not the end of the world. That's just kind of how I see it. it's all in how you look at things. So, but I'm afraid of like tangible things like, you know, animals that I don't want near me. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. What is your favorite show? Ooh. So my favorite show that went off the air was Snowfall. Ugh. Love that show. Because I'm a therapist, when I was watching Snowfall, I was, you know, was able to kind of pinpoint some things. I will say, I mean, if you have not watched Snowfall, spoiler alert, but that that show went off a long time. You sh should have been seeing it. So I just don't like how the end, I mean, the end is very real. It happens to, to dealers all the time, but it the, he ended up like what he didn't want to become, which was his father, who was an alcoholic. Like, that bar scene when nobody was trying to help him out and he went to the bar and the bartender handed him a, um, a shot. I was like, no, Franklin, don't take it. Don't take it. And so once he took it, I was like, that's it. I just, ah, uh, you know, the end really broke my heart, but it's a real story. You know, it happens. RIP to John Singleton. Not everybody ends up like Jay-Z and Rick Rosses and stuff like that, you know? So um, Snowfall, definitely. My new show is Young, Famous, and African. I love me some Swanky. I don't know how I feel about him season two, but I love me some Swanky. His relationship with Andy is really bothering me, you know? But I heard they made, made up, so that's good. Um, and anything Real Housewives, like I'm a Real Housewives girl. My favorite franchise, if I could rank them, I would rank... Beverly Hills, number one, because I feel like they are the epitome of what the real housewives is, what a housewife is supposed to be. And I can't relate. Like, I can't relate to the luxury, the, the mansions that like, I like watching that because I can't relate, but I can't relate now. Now I can't relate. One day I might be able to. No, one day I am going to. Let's speak it into existence. One day I'm going to. Uh, I like the real house. So I'm going to rank them. The real housewives of Beverly Hills. Real housewives of Atlanta. Real Housewives of Potomac and Real Housewives of New Jersey. I love Real Housewives of New Jersey because I love the husbands. Like the husbands need their own shit. What is one random thing about you? A random thing about me. Hold on, let me think. Like, okay, this is really weird. And I don't know how what you guys are going to say, but whatever, I don't care. I, I am obsessed with trying different toothpaste. Like I will go online and Google toothpaste that these celebrities use and I'll go order it. <laughs> I'm like, I don't play about my teeth. I used to have braces and then I didn't, I wasn't doing well with my retainers. Listen, if you have braces, keep up with your retainers, okay? Because then I had to get Invisalign and then uh, I'm getting my Invisalign off in two days. I'm so excited. But you go into my bathroom. I have like three, four different types of toothpaste. I don't know. It's so weird. I don't know. It's my thing. Don't judge me. I like that one, mascaras too. I like to try a gazillion mascaras. Toothpaste are Rembrandt. They used to sell in the stores, but they stopped selling in stores. Rembrandt, Boca, that one I, you, I order online, Klein or Klein or something like that. And um, what was the other one I just tried? Oh, Mavis. I found out that um, Adrian Houghton, Houghton, yeah, you guys know, the girl from The Real. She um, uses Mavis toothpaste. Actually, no, I saw it on her um, YouTube. I saw it on her to YouTube and I was like, ooh, what kind of toothpaste is this? Let me try it. You know? Don't judge me, y'all. Don't judge me. Okay. All right. Moving on. Uh, next question. What are your goals? <laughs> How long you got? <laughs> My goals. I have a lot of goals. First of all, I, I want to lose 15 pounds. Okay. Like I need to be back to pre-baby weight. This weight is not it. This is like the heaviest I felt. Like, well, actually, I mean, besides being pregnant. I've been trying to lose this weight forever. I know what I need to do. I just need to do it. Okay. So yeah, I, I need to lose 50 pounds. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. But the summer is summering. <laughs> the summer is summering. It's so hard. 
I gotta give up the wine. I really do. Um, okay, the YouTube, my YouTube goal, like, okay, look, my I would like to get to 2,000 subscribers in a year. Um, I'm putting it out there. If it doesn't happen, fine. I'll just keep going. But I want to get to 2,000 subscribers in a year. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, this YouTube thing, I'm just trying it. We'll see. I have a lot of goals. Some I'm comfortable sharing right now. Some I'm not really comfortable sharing, you know. Some are personal. Maybe I'll talk about it one day. Uh, okay, let's see. What else? What else? What else? What is one thing you want to try? One thing I want to try. What's one thing that I want to try? Let me think. I want to try hot yoga. I've never, I've never done it before, but I heard that it's really, really good. I want to try hot yoga and I want to try cryotherapy. So actually I might do that. I might do that in a couple of months. Those are things I want to try. Yeah. Okay. So that's it for the, the Q and A. Thank you for submitting your Q and A. You got to know the girl behind the therapist. So like I said, in my next video, I'm going to be interviewing Kevin Holmes. He is a chemical dependency counselor. If you have any questions about addiction, send them in. And um, again, thank you for the support, the encouragement. You all are on this YouTube journey with me. Okay. So yeah, let's go. Take care.